Tonight I'm with David Cunliffe and Mike Relling, who are sailing together on uh, David's Insatiable. Uh, David, tell us a bit about the boat to start off with. The boat um, started, it's, well, it was built in Belgium, and uh, then it was brought to this country by uh, Chuck Mark Healy into Plymouth. Um, my younger son sailed on it um, when it belonged to another person in Plymouth, and then it uh, eventually ended up in Ireland. And then in Ireland, some the Irish don't always look after them, so we, we brought it back two years ago and did a full renovation job on it. And uh, it's now a good boat. Fantastic. So is this your first Half Ton Classic Cup? Yes. But probably not your first Half Ton Cup? No, I've had, well, I've had a Half Tonner before. That way, but I'm not. But this, but that was before this event. Because mm -hmm. this is the fourth, is it? Or? Uh, fifth one, I think. Fifth one, yes. Yeah. yeah. So no, we, we, the previous half ton was before that. And Mike, what about you? I think you might have a bit of history with the half ton class, yeah. don't you? <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've done a few half tons. I don't know how many, but um, yeah. And I, I have to say, this is a very good little boat. The Andrio boats are the good all rounders. Which I think in varied conditions you need to do well throughout a regatta. And we set off to try and sail clean and you know, keep out of out of trouble and I think we did that pretty well today. Yeah. So overall today, where have you finished up? Uh, uh, we're, we're fifth overall. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. And um, one of the things that's interesting about the class is that um, unlike some of the other revival classes, you focus on keeping the boats fairly true to their original, original um, Yes. Condition, don't you? Yes. Tell us a little about that. That's right, yes. They're, they're supposed to be. I mean, the rules of the class association try to keep them in the spirit of the class originally. They were all designed under the old IOR rule, and of course, that, that was more specific. Now we come under a different handicap system, but the class rules demand that we still keep them in the spirit of the original half tons. Well, certainly the racing today was very, very close, uh, sitting in the rib watching it. What did it feel like from on board? I mean, it was very close. And I think the good thing is that you know, in the top ten boats, there's only seconds between each place. So, you know, mark roundings, boat handling, all of the little details are very, very important. And I think that says a lot about the half-time class, you know, the success of the class, the success of IRC, it seems to be, you know, the ratings seem to be fairly fair, um, and like a good regatta, if you sell well, you do well. If you sell badly, you do badly. There's there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. And that's I think that makes it a, a fantastic event. So going ahead, uh, we've got four more days of sailing to come. Uh, who do you see as your main competition, and how are you hoping the regatta will pan out for you? I well, it'd be interesting to see how. Uh, I mean. David has always said that the boat's very strong and stronger breeze, so we're pleased that we managed to hang in with the, the better people today and see how the boat goes in stronger breeze, which is forecast before, before the end of the week. And with around the island tomorrow, it's double points, and if it's stronger breeze, we would hope to do well in that. Yeah, it's got a good crew. Um, they're used to sailing the boat distance racing, so... Yeah, I, I feel very positive about it, but it's hard it, it, at an early stage after three races. It's very hard to know who you're up against. Tapioca is obviously very good. They sail very well. They get good starts. Sail the boat consistently well. Um, but there's any one of ten or twelve boats. I think by the end of the week you would see you could do well out of it. Fantastic. Well, it's great to see everybody here. We're thrilled to have a record entry of 38 boats. Um, and I think another thing that's interesting is the you also have a special division for the production boats. Yes. So tell us a bit about how um, how a production boat qualifies. Well, there there there'll be a number of them that have been built to a certain design, uh, X boats, for example, and so forth, mm -hmm. that are qualify as half tonners, but there've been a number of them built. Mm -hmm. That, that's the di that's the difference. Whereas the ones like our boat, it's a one-off. Although there are other boats uh, by the same design, though, they're all slightly different. So, uh, so in that way, we're able to level the playing field a wee bit between the full-out Grand Prix boats yeah, built yeah, exclusively yeah. for racing and, and those that were built as yeah, the cruiser that, racers or yes, racer cruisers. That'll be the success of this event. And I think what they proved is that you can get a fleet that's fairly equitable 
and include the older boats, the production boats, and they've still got a chance to do well. I mean, we saw in the second race today, we saw a lot of the older production type boats right up in the you know, top third of the fleet. So that's as the wing comes in a bit, you think that uh, that helps them out a bit? Yeah, I, th I think it's just that they've got a good start and they've you know, got the first few tacks right, and they're right up there. So it just proves that you can, actually, whatever boat you've got, you can do it. And I think that's very good for the, for the potential or half-time class, because I think it'll bring other people in. I think the danger is with a class that if you see the new boats and the boats that people spend a huge amount of money just sailing away, it discourages... Yeah, just the good average sailor with a production boat to come in. But I think what today's proved is everybody's got a chance to do well. Yeah, so well, fantastic. Thanks so much for catching up with us tonight, and uh, good luck for the Round the Island tomorrow. Yes. And we'll catch up later in the week, see how you're getting on. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank Great. you.